All right, so with the 2022-23 season coming to a close, it is now time to reveal the harsh truths, the hard pills to swallow about your favorite team. The amount of good players in the league that are former Pistons needs to be studied. I need names. Yeah, na- name names, name names. I'm I'm a casual. Fuck it, you got me. Name names, name names. Off the top of my head, Chris, Bruce Brown, Dinwiddie, KCP, Kennard, Plumlee. Oh, y'all make some hella good role players. Y'all was about to say, I don't, I don't see no stars, but y'all got hella good role players, bro. That's kind of like the baby Lakers, but I'm not going to do too much about them. I barely know what that team is or exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got some decent talent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all, y'all didn't do anything with them, but it's cool, though. It's cool. Oh, man, I'll save you the trouble. The Celtics players lack killer mentality. Thoughts, thoughts? I agree. Now it's developing, though. It's a, it's a training arc. You, you know you know what it is, Sage? I think every NBA great, you know, they got hurdles to go over. They have points of uh-huh. pain in their career that mold them into the player we remember them as. Right? Michael Jordan and the bad boy Pistons. Right. LeBron James in 2011. Right. right. Kobe in 2004 and something right. else. I think I think for Tatum, I don't know about Brown, but for oh. Tatum, oh, Lord. the heartbreak of the 22 finals and how the Eastern Conference finals went this year, I think that's his moment, man. I ain't going to lie. I think so that's his moment. He needed two years. He needed two moments. Hey, 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 Jordan! Jordan didn't get through the bad boy Pistons after one defeat. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, all right so he he's gotten two moments. So he's supposed to have a mama mentality, by the way. But uh, he has two moments. Hopefully, in 2024, Tatum is um on timing for real. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of our guys, though, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I'm I'm about to be a Jalen Brown fan next year. I'm, my man about what? to go to dribbling practice. My man about to my man about to get the attribute boost. I can, I want him to get traded. Fuck it, trade Jalen Brown to Houston. Uh, let let get get Jalen Green or some shit. I don't know. I don't care about your team. Let Jalen Brown go out there and cook. Please. We want him. We want He's, him. <laughs> you can't have him. You <laughs> can't have him. <laughs> Any Laker fan that uses Kobe name to shit on LeBron is a fucking loser. I say true. It doesn't happen as much as it did when we first signed LeBron, but it's still true. Any person that's essentially like, yeah, see, Kobe would have never did this or Kobe would have did this, da 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 da. It doesn't happen as much. It really don't. But anybody that does do it, true, you're a fucking loser. One, it, it, it's 2023. If you can't accept that LeBron James at his best was a better basketball player or at least uh on at least if you get rid of all the one game for your life situations you just go 82 games plus plus postseason who would you take at that point bro i can't help you and i'm a diehard kobe fan but nah anybody that does that shit is beyond corny because you you kind of make kobe as like an omnipotent hero at that point and kobe weren't perfect kobe weren't perfect he he, he, damn damn near but he weren't perfect My question is, who is more of a loser, this type of Laker fan or the LeBron fan that got receipts, uh, videos of, I don't know, Kobe and Jordan double dribbling and choking in the in the, in the fourth quarter? You can stop like, right worse? there, that guy. You can stop right there, that guy. That guy, I'm sorry. Because at least when people are doing the Kobe would have never thing, it, we're, we're Laker fans and most of us are Kobe fans at that. So ultimately, we know what we saw. And like when we see Kobe not in top tens and all that other shit, it's like, all right, I guess whatever basketball reference take you've had, cool. Them niggas... They're literally prepared for any fan to say anything remotely negative, even if true, about LeBron. They're like, but he was better than your guy. And it's like, uh, uh, okay, but y- your man shot one of six tonight. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah, that guy. That guy into. The Pelicans' yeah. future isn't as bright as the fans think. I agree, man. I actually might agree. And I'm a huge BI fan. Um, They packed up my dog, Zoe. I knew that was a mistake. Zion, I'm still rooting for you, but goddamn, bro, that's a name that we be forgetting exist. <laughs> like, it, it's hard, man. It, damn, I think I agree. I don't see. I didn't fear them as I do, like even two years ago, right? Like, damn. I think it's, yeah. I think I think I agree. Especially compared to you know what the Thunder, the Cavs, and all these other teams got cooking up, even the Spurs at this point. The Luka Championship chances ended in Dallas the day Jalen went to New York. Yo, Jalen Brunson, man, I think <laughs> I, I think the NBA world just didn't even know what they had with Luka and Jalen Brunson till Jalen Brunson really took off in New York. That might go down depending on like how Jalen uh, Brunson progresses for the next couple of years. 
That might go down as one of the craziest what ifs in NBA history, bro. I'm not going to go there, but I will say this. Jalen Brunson, and I'm not even boosting him to where he might be a superstar one day because you know how analysts be. Jalen Brunson is going to be here. That I, Cub played 48 minutes and it looked, it, it didn't get tired. Like, no, no, no motherfucking energy Gatorade bottle popped up. Bro was just hooping throughout the entire fucking game. And honestly, and at Knicks, you know your roster ain't the, the best roster out there. If it was a more well constructed roster, they might have gotten past Miami. Fuck. Like, it's crazy. Jalen Brunson is really nice, bro. He's kind of like that one Tim Hardaway run, but like on an every game basis. And you just have to ask at some point if they had stayed and got a big man, because I still think Luka needs a rim protecting big. If they had stayed, got that elite rim protecting big man that's actually good at defense, what could have been, bro? I, I, I won't say it's over, over, but it's not looking good. It might not happen in Dallas. Embiid cared more about the MVP than he did the playoffs. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he cared more about the MVP than the playoffs. But when, when the ratio, when we talk about ratios, right? It might have been like I don't know, fifty-five percent playoffs, forty-five percent MVP. <laughs> Nigga should have been higher. Think you know, should have been, <laughs> been high. No cap. Like like you yeah. know, seventy percent playoffs, thirty percent MVP. You know what I'm saying? So, something like that. I think uh, when when the when those conversations between him and Jokic like really took off, Jokic was like, "All right, fuck it, bro. So let me just focus on the playoffs and go about my business, get my crew together." And now, who are we talking about? Like, come come on, man. Excuse me, in terms of, like, stats and shit, y'all really ruined one of the GOAT seasons ever because it could have been a three-time repeating MVP that won a ring, bro. But niggas ain't want it. But let's really talk about it. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I'll say it. 60-40 MVP. The hype died down for a reason. It, it, it 100% went away the second the MVP was had. You, if he cared more about the playoffs, we would have seen consistent Jokic debates from other analysts time in and time out, game by game by game. But a combination of performance of play, let alone with the fact that Embiid is the one that pushed the Embiid narrative, I mean Embiid narrative, the MVP narrative, now it was just like, ah, we don't really care no more. And then when you talk to Joel, it was kind of just like, Ah, we lost. Ah, no, what do we do? So it's just like some was off, bro. Some was off, and I'm not a guy that's gonna see some waddle quack and swim like a fucking duck and then be like it's a cow. So it, it, we don't have to cap, bro. We we don't have to cap. You a Philly fan? You should be fucking pissed if you're about to sit there type below. I'm an Embiid hater or some shit. Like you didn't feel from the bottom of your heart. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. He knew what he wanted this year. If it, like, if I'd be pissed off if Anthony Davis was talking about, I'm the best big in the league. Um, I deserve this. Da, 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 and then stunk it up in offs. And it was just like, I mean, shit, man. We got me and Braun out here. I'd be pissed. Almost like if I fucking lost money. That'd be crazy. And speaking of talking about NBA players who are still playing basketball at this time of the year, unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't include Jason Tatum, but it does include Nikola Jokic. And shout out to Prize Picks for being the sponsor of this video. Prize Picks is the easiest, it's the most fun, it's the most intuitive way to play daily fantasy sports, especially if you are in a state where you are valid to play this game. Sage, I, I want to do something different today, man. Talk to me. I need you to tell me what my prize picks picks should be today. Jokic. Jokic points 28 and a half. You're going more. 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 <laughs> just, just more. <laughs> what do you think about Dame Vincent going into game three? What do I think about Stephen Vincent? Um, I don't know. It's at I 13 think... and a half points right now. So that's what? Four threes? Four threes in a bucket. Uh... If this was Caleb Curry, I'd lock it. But because it's <laughs> Because it's just Steph Vincent, I say less. I say less. Former Los Angeles Laker, KCP, nine and a half. I say he can do that. He can do that. He can do that. Yeah, that's KC3000. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Jimmy Butler. This is a crazy profile picture that they got in the app, but they, they got the one going into the season where he had the long. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, and now more. More, 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 more. Just for the picture. Just for the swag. All right, we're going to go more on the Nicole Jokic points, less on Dame Vincent, and more on KCP. Flex or power? <laughs> flex, flex, flex. No, 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 power, 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 on, dude, power, power. Go home. It's that yeah, line. power, Come power, on. power. What about I talking about? Place entry, and that's how simple the process is. SO said it is that easy, and if you use code SNS, you will receive a hundred percent instant deposit matched up to a hundred dollars. That the prize picks for sponsoring this video. Links will be in the description. And uh, let's move on to these hard pills to swallow. The odds of Kawhi and PG going on a completely healthy playoff run, okay, a lot of parentheses, so I'm gonna skip the shit out of that, are in- indescribably low. Facts. But like I'm I'm sorry. And I've turned a new leaf, I'm not gonna lie. The if healthy shit, I'm chopping. I, I can't I can't do the if healthy things no more, man. I used to be team if healthy. Um so when I started doing content, I had to be more responsible. Now, complete opposite, bro. Health matters in my rankings even, damn it. And I'm sorry. I'm not about to sit here and even Laker fandom aside, swear, not about to sit here and act like yo. Kawhi PG, two elite two-way wings that give you 30 any given night along with the Brody, who he's going to be there, granted. But the Brody, they're going to be a great team and then act like they'll be there. So I, I'm not I'm not going to make the prediction. And then when they get hurt, be like, well, they did get hurt, so I can't really put that much blame on myself. No, stop giving yourself a win-win. You're a loser because, God damn it, you knew they would get hurt, bro. Stop. Stop. Now, what is tough <laughs> is when a non-injury prone player gets injured. And like you know, tweaks his ankle in the first possession <laughs> of the game, and you don't want to pull that card because <laughs> you want to be objective and things Let of that nature. Go. God, <laughs> Game Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ordinary people. Oh my we don't God, know bro. which way to fall. Jesus, not on his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. Marcus Smart is not on. Un- let me let me tell y'all something. Man. <laughs> this dude, Mar- I love Mark. Let me start off. I love Marcus Smart, bro. Like for real, for real, one of my favorite players in the league. But the way Celtics fans talk about this dude is unbearable. This is like the sixth straight year in a row. Where we're involved with trade talks with a superstar. And motherfuckers don't want to trade Marcus Smart because he's the heart and soul of this team. Have, 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 you, have you guys ever thought that maybe that's the problem? That the heart and soul of this team isn't our all-NBA first team caliber player. Isn't our all-NBA second team caliber player. But it's the 38-year-old center and the 27-year-old point guard who shoots eight threes a game but shoots 33% from the arc. <coughs> he had the dog in him, though. But he got that dog in him, though. T- all right, bro. Guard Caleb Martin. <laughs> Nah, he's he's on Jimmy. He's on Jimmy. That weren't his fault, bro. He he, he had bigger fish to fry. That's DPOY smart. This Mike is smart. What do we, man? You can't let go of the smart guy. You can't do it. Oh, can't man. can't let go of Big Al. Big Al, y'all UD. No matter what, untouchable. It, it's it's annoying too because he legitimately had like a really good playoff run. But I'm just saying, stock is high now, bro. Stock, you know, so include him in the trades. To not show you for one second, and Celtics fans, you're going to get pissed when I say this, but weren't it a year where Smart shot like 38% of three? I ain't going to lie. That was the year I said pack him up. I swear, I swear to life. Like, as I weren't on YouTube. I, I could call my boy right now. That one season, Marcus Smart was chopping threes. I was like, oh, yeah, pack him up now because that ain't happening again. He thought I was just hating. I was like, bro, I'm not hating. That's really not going to happen again. Trade him yesterday, nigga. Didn't do it. Where did my dog go, Mar? I don't see a path for the Hawks to win a title anytime soon. Things can change, obviously, but with the path they are currently on, I don't see there's any way. What you said is true, but it's just so obvious that things are likely to change. If they don't change, I'll be wrong, because the fuck? But there's no shot that we're going to continue this era of Trey Young, athletic jumping bigs, and wings that are okay at best. There's no way we keep that formula going for too long. That has to change at some point. And I even think DeJounte Murray was the start of said change, but yeah, no, no way we're about to keep trying this formula out. No way. I personally agree, and I'm more so coming from, from the perspective of 
I don't think you can win with Trey Young being your best player. Like, Damn. unarguably oh. your best player. Damn. Just, I, I, it's the same thing with Isaiah Thomas. Um, just too much of a defensive liability, dog. I ain't going to lie. Now, if you can put yourself in a scenario where, um, I don't, dead ass, I'm not trying to make this about the Celtics, but a, like a, a pairing of Dame and Tatum where they're kind of on the same tier. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can get Trey with someone on the same tier as him and you can argue, is Trey the best player or is it this guy? But that like other guy's like a defensive stalwart and shit. Like, not, not that's a defensive stalwart. <laughs> so not Jalen Brown. <laughs> you know, something like that. I, th- I think I think something is there. But push comes to shove. I, I think it's going to be a hard path, though, with Trey Young being your best player. That's just me, though. I don't want to drag this point any further, but I've seen a lot of Trey Young hate as a late, bro. And I'm not even saying I disagree with your championship notion take, but why niggas going to Trey nowadays? Someone, someone shot me below. Why, why are people going to Trey Young now? What the fuck you do? Bulls Nation, the team sold their souls for those six championship in the 90s. We literally have a dark future ahead of us, and I see no light. Yo, bro. <laughs> Nigga just said it was a story. <laughs> There's no basketball in this. There's no nothing. He's literally just on some, bro. We did a dance with the devil. Now we will rue the day for fucking <laughs> foul law. It's, it's past. I don't think anything in the 90s is affecting your team today. The Bulls are unlucky as fuck, though. I will give them that. I don't I don't know what y'all be doing to y'all players' kneecaps, boy. <laughs> what is that? What is that? 40 likes. Why is so Koro isn't generational talent? Why is that like 40 niggas was like, thank you, bro. Like, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> no shit. No offense, Isaac. But come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, now put that in. Fuck that! You, 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 no, no. And, uh, you, you. We don't even have to talk about it. We don't even have to. If 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 you don't want to talk about it, if you want to include the segment, sure. But you better include him just passively scrolling and liking that, bro. You're making me sick, man. Go JB, go JB, go. Fuck Cause he heard me, Sage. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight turnovers. Bro, it happens, bro. <laughs> it happens. He is the co-star. He, what you want him to be, Scotty? Start dissing Tatum one day? <laughs> like, man. If we got six championships. I don't give a fuck what Jalen Brown does. What? Let JB develop. He can develop somewhere else, bro. I'm, I'm being so serious. All right, <laughs> let, let's be serious. I don't, I, I don't think Jalen Brown is a bad player. He's a good uh, player. You know what I'm saying? He had a great season, but I just think with the context that a Supermax is on the table, with the context (laughs) that a Supermax is 35% of your cap, and with the context that we also need to make a decision on giving another dude 35% of our cap, he is not worth a Supermax, period, point blank. That's it. That's it. It's the safer move, though. It, it's the safer move. Is it? The, no, it's not. The, the floor is ECF. The floor is six games in the ECF. The The peak is a potential championship. All my man needs to do is make some playmaking strides. Shit, for y'all, even just dribbling strides. That's all he needs, bro. Okay, C is never going to win a championship, so just enjoy the process. I ain't going to lie. I might, I'm not going to stand myself as a hater. But I'm getting sick of it too, bro. I, I, it's dog, y'all. I think tanging is overrated, and I think the Thunder about to showcase exactly why I think it's overrated. If you're gonna tank, tank, tank to generational degrees, you know, get get motherfucking Victor, Chet, SGA, and uh, Scoot, and and the next nigga that coming out the draft. Why am I not hearing rumors that the Thunder about to send all them picks for pick one type shit? Play, tr- treat it like how niggas do 2K, bro, where nowadays in the eras, you could literally see what draft is coming up, so now everybody's trading up for said draft because you know it's 85 and a, like, come on, bro. I'm not seeing none of that, bro. I'm just seeing a team cool at picking like 8, 16, 32, and 46, and then having all the niggas on the team, and they just might look good the following year. SJ home run, but saying like it shouldn't be no fucking Josh Giddy and uh Chet and shit like that. This motherfucker should be SJ Paolo Victor. Like let's get insane with it. You already done got like the most picks I've seen in my lifetime. Get nasty or stop the tank and shit, bro. I just think it's overrated. Y'all are gonna kill me for it. I'm fine with that. That'd be my hot ticket a month. But I think tanking is insanely overrated, and I think this shit. 
I don't see it. I don't see it panning out, bro. It's possible I could just be dead wrong. All it takes is one hit in the draft. But I don't like the way that they doing it. It's it's like you schmeet not out for real. You you just you you trying, but you ain't really. You know, like go go for it, bro. If you're gonna tank, fuck it, tank. Well, let me, let me ask you this, because I I understand that overrated doesn't necessarily mean that you're saying it's bad or it doesn't work. Do you think tanking works? <sighs> yes, it does. It it does it it do, it does to a degree. That's why I'm glad you shouted out for me using the word overrated. Because tanking can work. You could even argue the Warriors tanked for like a Harrison Barnes. You could argue the Spurs tanked for a Tim Duncan and shit like that, right? But ultimately, I I don't think the ends always justify the means. And for every example that you could name, even as low as examples or as nasty examples as Warriors Harrison Barnes, there's millions of other teams that have tanked for superstars let alone even tanked and gotten said superstars and still ended up poverty for every one story that you have i promise you there's five nba fans ready to fucking smack you in the face for telling them that tanking always works because they still haven't won a championship so it's i just think it's severely overrated and we've seen it with philly we're seeing it again with the thunder granted the thunder did it smarter than philly to me but it it's not it's not how I would envision tanking. If you're going to tank for decades, nigga, do it. They're like d- Top three or I don't want it. You have fucking 40 picks. D- d- trade them. You get higher in the draft consistently. I-, I don't like this. I'm cool at eight this year. 14. Oh, woo, we got two. Like, nah, nigga. I want top three, 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 two, 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 one, one, one. All right, bet year four we ball. Ah, ah, man. Ah, pussy. I, I I personally think it works. I do think it's overrated from the perspective of a lot of these teams that tank just don't have good management to even know what the fuck to do with those draft picks. They either get the talent or they don't have a good developmental team to develop these players so that they reach their full potential or they just pick talent first too much. And again, goes back to what I just said. They just don't develop properly and it ends up hurting these um, prospects and ultimately the team in the long run. They have 10? Huh. Sage, what you want for LeBron, though? Like, for real, for real. <laughs> Pick 10 and Luka. Fuck is you talking about? You're like, get this shit out of here, bro. <laughs> nothing, bro. I don't want nothing, bro. Get that bullshit out of here. We're talking about the mask because of the tweet that you probably see on screen. But no, 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 no. I've I seen that bullshit pop up. Get that. Oh, well, Kyrie wants it. Yeah, we want. Yeah, you know what, Kyrie? We want you so we can trade you later, nigga. Like, fuck out of here, dog. No, no, bro. That just blew me. And I don't even hate Kyrie. That just pissed me off, though, bro. No, there ain't nothing they got for Bron. Not for sale. I don't give a fuck how many threes he's shooting the playoffs. Not for sale. Hell no. I dead ass don't know what they could offer you guys. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not even like I'm being a Bron sexual. Who the fuck they gonna give us? If it ain't Luka... The fuck out of here! Like, get get out! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. We'll <laughs> always have trouble re-signing black players, but it's still Stop. hashtag Jazz. <laughs> hey, you, hey! I know it's only two quote retweets. I know, I know for a fact they're like, excuse you. <laughs> it's you shit. Oh, there's only one. <laughs> oh, he's. <laughs> Like, what? I beg your pardon, bro. So you just admitted this shit racist, and you're like, still my squad, though. I ain't gonna lie, they racist as hell. All right, man. It's because we're a small market. It's because we're... I mean, oh, technically it is. God. Technically it, it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> Minorities don't want to move to fucking Utah, bro. That's what it is. I'm about to say, it's your fault. Stop being racist. Watch the shit blow up. Oh, the irony. Damian Lillard doesn't propel this team and others to contender status. This team ceiling will be a second round exit. Granted, the team that uh, if he were to go to would be a... Uh... He's a Nets fan. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> No shit. God. <laughs> I was trolling, by the way, y'all, but damn. All right, for the Nets, I'm not trolling. No no universe. <laughs> Damian Lillard and Mikael Game Bridges. to the Nets. Come Whoa. On, <laughs> it's not going to. It'd be the best defense Dame has had in, like, a decade. Cool, but no. It's, no, no, no. Yeah, nah. They, they ain't that good. He still needs, you know, a real dog next to him. Like, a real current championship level dog next to him. Yeah, Jimmy Butler. Stop it, bro. 
Yeah, 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 Jimmy, yeah, Bam, Jimmy, and Dame. Listen, man, uh, follow us on Twitter. I don't, I don't, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. This is where we get all these tweets from, so follow us follow on, on Twitter. Instagram, I need bad bitch clout. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I need bad, yeah, Instagram help with the bitches. I'm sorry, I'm just, let's just call it what it is. It helps with the bitches. Follow Sage on Instagram. I'm locked <laughs> up, so. Oh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Peace.